You've got a chart. I do. I do. What's well, your so, so here's the, yeah, it's a, I, well, I don't know if I have a cliche. It's a market it's a of time. stocks, not a stock market. Nice, I never nice. really understood nice. that one. one, but I'll use it for this. But, you know, what's interesting is that this chart was actually being passed around. I think it's been passed around for a week or so, but a trader sent it to me today, and it basically shows what people will call a megaphone top or a, a broadening top technical formation. I'm not a technician, not going to play one on TV today. Too late. Oh, boy. But anyway, <laughs> point is, what you get here is this broadening formation. Formation, and you usually get five touches on the line, right? And so what does this show us? What I found interesting about this is it shows us that we have effectively been trading in a very broad range with volatility expanding. And to me, that, that frightens me because when volatility expands, you things break. And so I think this resolves to the downside. It certainly could go to the upside. I know we're going to have somebody talking about that in a minute or so. But to me, it, it just, that's a picture that visually shows what we talk about every night. Is it the trade war? Is it the Fed? Is it this? Is it that? And you have this massive volatility, very difficult to trade, and likely things break. Can we put the chart up again? In, in terms of touching the line, does it have to alternate between highs and lows? Y yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so you so get that one, two, after three, number, four, five. After number five, if we can so, put it back up, it would go down to number six, which would be the orange line, which would be. be no, money. you don't get at five. Is it? Oh, five is oh, the number. Five is that's it. As, apparently, that is that's it. all it goes. It five breaks is after it. five. After but you're five, saying a wide breaks. range. Is that right? So, it, so the way to interpret this, as I'm told, is it it either breaks violently higher or violently lower. My view is that we break violently lower, but five is as many touches as you get apparently with the old megaphone top. We used to always worry about, or, or we used to always say there's no volatility left in the market. Now we have extreme versions of volatility. So yes, I think both will be right. I think you, you could break lower and you could break higher. Both will probably happen, just which, which happens first. It's probably higher in my opinion. You saw people reach for chemicals today. Mm -hmm. When was the last time they bought chemicals? I'm along TSE packaging. And that makes you feel good about breaking iron? Because, because, <laughs> because they were so beaten up, people uh -huh. were trying to risk out, and they were so worried about global growth. Now they're buying those things that they threw out, which makes me potentially set that, up for a higher That market. would be the glass half full interpretation of the market's moves today. Well, I'm always a half empty, as you know. I mean, I, I was brought up in the Wall Street, what can go wrong will go wrong. Another cliche. By the way, yours is history doesn't repeat itself. But it often rides. But you know, I don't need to be corrected uh, in public I'm on not a cliche that doesn't okay. make sense. Anymore. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> now you're, you're. I mean, you're mad. I know the Mets had a tough night last night. We'll oh, talk come about on. that later. What were you saying? No, <laughs> listen. I think the market the, the, over the next couple of days grinds slightly higher. I think people go on the weekend feeling good about themselves, thinking maybe we finally figured out what this inverted yield curve means. Maybe Tuesday you have another decent day. But I think. Things are going to get really interesting in the first couple weeks of September. And I told BK walking in here, October is going to be a historic month for a number of different asset classes, specifically the one that BK knows the most about. I, I, mm. You know, I, I, these, everyone's made a point that's been somewhat kind of emphatic about the conditions here. I, I, I would argue that we haven't seen anything yet in terms of volatility, even though I think people felt that we've had a big – and I, I think we've traded in a very tight range here, despite the divergence of outcomes we could have here. So uh, – I, I hate to do this, but it's a very quiet week. Um, it could explain some of the subdued. We also get violent moves in, in these types of weeks. I think you have a major expectation of a rebalance out of bonds into equities at the end of the month. This is something that I've or been talking about. Or it could have happened already. Interesting. That may have been even just the bid to the market right. today. You, you got this sense. And therefore, really oversold stuff would be a rotation in for, for relative value players. Um, but but to, as we've echoed and we've unfortunately had to address almost nightly on this show, there, there's nothing about the trade war that's changed. Hong Kong is, is still a tinderbox. You have a dynamic with the Fed that's still unproven. 50 now may be more in, in the lexicon of where the market is right now, except for the fact that I'm listening to a Fed, which, which doesn't really sound like to a man they want to go 50. And if anything, I still think that that's the most important dynamic for the market. You're the only one on the test this desk that thinks the market could break higher. So what would you buy here in this environment? I, well, I'd buy the things that have not worked because today, uh -huh. if, if today is any indication of where you should be going, it's energy and it's chemicals, the things that haven't worked. Because we know if there's brighter headlines on the trade front, all of those large cap tech names, all the semiconductor space, everything that is uh, quote unquote trade related will rip higher. But the best bang for your buck are the things that have not performed that start Mm -hmm. to perform now.